guys, it's Miss Zoe here. Today's lesson is going to be about Andy Goldsworthy's form of earth art. Earth art is a form of art where you're taking natural materials like sticks, rocks, stones, leaves, anything, and you can turn it into art. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just find some stuff in my backyard and I'm going to make some art out of it. Okay, let's go. Before we actually get started making any art, I wanted to show you a couple slides of Andy Goldsworthy's work. If you're familiar with this, this is the entryway into the De Young Museum. It's the first piece of art you'll see, and it's a piece of installation art by Andy Goldsworthy. What do you notice about this? It's a lot of rocks, it's a lot of tiling, but what he's done is he has created these cracks in the stone to replicate the cracks and the effect that San Francisco has endured from multiple earthquakes. So by doing this, he's commenting on the history of San Francisco. This is a poor photo quality of him installing the work, but see how he's purposefully cracking the rocks? And this is another one of his pieces that I love where he's taking these leaves and he's making these chromatic color gradients. Notice the reds, the oranges, the yellows. And here's another piece where he's taking ice and he's melting it and attaching it to itself. So a lot of what he's doing is he's using natural materials. This is another piece where he's taking two stones and laying different colors of leaves across it. All right, back to making art. So what I'm doing here is I'm collecting sticks from around my yard and I'm stacking them and I'm kind of creating a circle pattern. It takes a lot of patience, similar to what Andy Goldsworthy is doing. And if you've ever played Jenga, it's kind of like that. Just stacking the sticks and being really patient and being really careful about where I'm putting them. All right, so I was able to make this in only a few minutes. And so what I did is I collected sticks from all over my yard and I just kind of picked them up because I always find sticks from crows that leave them in my yard. And so then what I did is I was able to just stack them all around. And it was nice because I was able to just kind of sit outside and do this. And plus, it kind of gave me the opportunity to look at the sticks and see there's different kinds of sticks from different trees or whatever. And I decided to make like a circle, kind of like a nest, because this whole quarantine has got me thinking of, you know, being apart, but at the same time being together. So it made me think of a circle because a circle has no start and it has no end. It's all one piece. Okay, let's try something else. I wanna add some color to my little earth art sculpture here. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling it with flowers, but I'm only gonna pick the flowers that are kind of wilted that I know aren't really gonna last. I already did my orange flowers to kind of create a pretty little orange ring. Now I'm going to add some yellow because I think that'll look really nice. So I'm just going through and I'm finding the flowers like, see this one? It's a little wilted. I'm just going to like borrow those petals. This one's a little dry too, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to leave these pretty guys here, you know, taking all these. And then I'm just going to like spread it around, try and make it look pretty. It's nice to just like be able to touch things and to just spend time in the backyard because it's such a nice day out. Oh, here we go. All right, and this is the finished product. I'm really proud of what I was able to make in a short amount of time and with what limited resources I had in my backyard. I love the yellow flowers and the orange and being able to use the sticks. And remember, Andy Goldsworthy did a lot of color work when he was working with leaves and if you're outside, it's really good for you to be able to get some of that vitamin D for your skin. And if you're not able to make it outside, we're gonna talk about some other things you can do to make art too. Here we're making a chromatic installation with stuff just around the house. What I've done here is I have made a chromatic rainbow circle of just stuff that I found around my house. And so remember how the color wheel goes. It goes Roigibiv, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then I added pink in there just for some fun. But it's really kind of satisfying just to see some of these items that you have in your house laid out. It just looks really pretty when you put them all together. So if you want to try making some sort of 
earth art, but inside, try grabbing stuff that's around your house. Just make sure you put it back when you're done. Cool. Alrighty class, I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you learned a lot. Today we talked about Andy Goldsworthy. We talked about earth art. We figured out different ways that you could make art while at home, whether it's just in your backyard, finding sticks or flowers or stones or anything. There's also ways that you can make art at home by just finding stuff around your house. Remember, we range them by color or we can stack them. I hope that you guys are staying safe, having fun. Don't forget to wash your hands, drink lots of water. I miss you. Have a good day.